No, I only see your lips. <laughs> right there. Right there. Hi guys, it's Ashton Patrice. <laughs> I'm good. I can't see, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just gonna trust you then. I can only see a glare. Okay, wait. I can see right there, yeah. Well, we took a long break from doing videos um, because we were going through a few things and so it's kind of hard for us to actually have enough strength to like put together a video when we feel like we need to be filled ourselves. So um, I feel like we're finally at a place where we are able to put videos together and are able to minister to others and we're very excited. If you ever feel like you're falling asleep, which it happens to everybody, while you pray and you're like, Lord, I thank you for... <laughs> and, you know, it happens a lot. And that's how the enemy gets you to get bored or not want to do it anymore. And you're like, ah, I'm too tired. No, when you're tired, get up, go take a shower, pray in the shower, get out, and then try again. Because after you take the shower, you're going to be wide awake and you're going to want to do it. Like, you got to be like, okay... I need to pray. I had a rough day. I don't want to sleep like this. So, if you haven't showered already, that's the time to go shower and mm -hmm. do what you gotta do. That, that's one way that I do. Mm -hmm. I think a good thing is to set goals. Like, my goal is just to be so deep in the presence that I know exactly what God wants me to do. I know exactly what God has planned for me. Like, because I just, I hear Him so clearly. That's, what, that's like what I want. That's my goal. So, to reach my goal, I have to know God more. I have to know God deeper. I have to hear Him more. I have to spend more time in His Word. I have to spend more time with Him. And that's how I'm going to reach my goal. So if you place the goal, then you'll know that you have to sacrifice some time to reach your goal. Like if you go to school full time and you realize that you were so caught up in school you didn't even pray or read, that is when you know that you can't let your day go by and you don't pray or nothing. Like mm -hmm. that That's going to start a bad pattern because it happened to me before. So that's when I get up, go to the bathroom, shower, pray. I like to pray in the shower. I don't know. It's all like I'm getting cleansed from my sins and physically. <laughs> so it's like, Girl. It's symbolic for me. <laughs> One thing that is certain is your mind is constantly changing. Like as you're growing in God, how you see things now isn't going to be the same way you see things like two years or three years from now. So it's always good to remember like you're in progress, you're not at your final destination. So my goals for the channel this year is definitely just to be even more in the spirit. Like, I want to be so much in spirit that I can actually see what's going on around me. Like, there's such a huge spiritual battle that goes on around us every single day. But, like I was saying, I want to be so much in the spirit that I can see what's going on around me. I can see um, where I need to be. I can hear from God where I need to be, what I need to do. And I feel like so many things lately have been trying to, to block that from me, like block my attention, block my ears, block my eyes, um, so that I cannot see and know what to do. But there was some guy watching me. That same guy, you saw him again? We have to leave the, the park quickly because there's a man who's been circling around the park about 20 times. <laughs> So we're trying to leave before he circles back around to our spot. I think he was looking for you because why on earth would he be at the entrance? And then when we were coming out, he came up behind us. You heard it <laughs> on his I'm bike. Like, I'm like, please don't tell me it's him. And I and I look and he's like, what's your name? Yeah. And then he's like, where you live? As if she gonna tell him where he <laughs> I said I live in Miami. <laughs> yeah, like he look a little my spirit sense that he he a little he not wrapped too tight. I I, I wouldn't say he crazy, he's just He's not wrapped too tight. Mm -hmm. And he was like dripping in sweat and he's like, Where you live? <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, I'm on vacation. Oh man. <laughs> Me. And then he, he 
got on his little bike and went home. That means he was doing circles, trying to get circles around your heart. <laughs> Girl, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so we hey, just like. Get... I don't know what I'm saying. Hey! <laughs> I thought Ash was gonna lose her life. Church was really, really good. Um, he spoke about basically not focusing on your dreams too much that you miss God. And that is so true because sometimes it's like. You focus so much on what God said he would do, and then you're like, okay, you're taking forever. It feels like I've been in this spot for how many years now? And he was just saying, like, keep your eyes on Christ so that you enjoy the process while you're waiting. So I needed to hear that. This whole thing. So God sees that he can trust Abraham with the dream because he didn't withhold the dream. And his eye wasn't on the dream, the eye was on the lamb. When you offer up that kind of sacrifice out of your being, you say, God, here's my dreams, despite my whole, this journey has been hell in a hand basket, but I, I, I offer my dream, I put it on the altar, and God replaces the dreams with the lamb. Let's, let's just think about this. Is your dream ultimately at the end of the day for you? Or... Wobble with it, wobble with it, wobble. <laughs> get in there. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, get in there for real. Oh, okay. This is definitely not for us, and, and I do feel it wobbling. Wobble with it, wobble with it. So, they have a torture chair at the playground, and Patrice is going to demonstrate. I told you it's a torture chair. <laughs> How do you maneuver this way? I don't know, but this territory has been claimed. Somebody tied it. By Reverend Save Reap. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just made that up. It says Rev Save Reap. So we're done being big kids. Yeah, um, we're too tall for the rest of it. So we're gonna head on home. Hey guys, I'm going to my dad's house. I think my little brother's there. I haven't seen them in a few weeks since I started school. I'm here. Okay. Alright, let me knock on the front door. I hear a baby. Okay. Call me and you dash me on You're fine with you? No. I don't care about him in a way that I'd marry him. Just go talk to the friend. Yeah, but don't you think that's gonna make that's like dragging him along because he still wants to be with me? You don't feel the same. Like, you don't feel the same like that. How long you been? How long you been cutting? How long you cutting me now? Um, it's been seven months. <laughs> I just feel like he needs to mature a lot. Yeah, but it doesn't take t almost ten years to marry somebody. He did a lot of things that were immature and was opposite of what he said that he wants. You know something? You said God speaks to you really? Hmm? You said about speaks to you and Yeah, and he showed me stuff like about my future and it's not with him. Do you believe in 
marriage? Yeah. You want to get married? Yeah. I have kids. Not a lot. Yeah, I'm going to that ministry. So I've got like a nun. What? <laughs> no. You want to be a nun? Three kids. I'm going to be a priest at the house, a provider at the house, and to protect, to protect. Priest, provide, and protect. What is for you must be for you. God knows you're going to marry. He know if it's him, he will bring it to pass. He will change you or something happen. But sometimes you pray, God said, yes, no, or wait. So in your case right now, the answer was wait. I mean, possibly, you could be the one with that right now. Well, I asked a billion times and it's the same answer. No. <laughs> yeah. The Lord said, we're not, we're not, equal, we're not an equal to the believers. He was a believer. He was just not really away from her because he can protect, can, can provide for a wife and kids right now. But to seek it first the kingdom of God, the Bible said all other things shall be added unto you, including the husband. So you just come to the seek, seek you first the kingdom. I mean, seek you first the kingdom of God. He will bring your husband the right husband right now. In the meantime, if you can keep yourself, that's good.